Hey guys, finally, I told you guys that we were going to be getting the uh, R1 project taken care of. Yes. So, um, finally moved this bike to the house and uh, we're actually about to get it inside the house. Um, just because um, that's the only way that I'll be able to actually get this bike up and running is I need hours and hours and hours yes. to uh, put my hands on it. Um, hey, a funny note, one of the uh, crackhead neighbors down the street stole our uh, trash can, but I went down the street and got it back. So yep. <laughs> that's all that matters. But uh, note to self, keep the trash can in the backyard until trash day. There you go, baby. I didn't realize that trash was valuable to people, but some people do value yes, the trash. Yes, they do. So y'all be mindful what you throw away. Burn the valuables. Gotta pull up just a tip. Okay. Here's the keys, baby. Yeah, this is essentially how to get a cross plane into your house. Baby, here's the keys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. You good, baby. Just a little tiddly. You think that did it? I think that might have did it. Try dropping it. These bugs are attacking oh, yeah, me. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll, that'll do. All I gotta do is lift her a little. Um, All right. So I'm not gonna be able to get this on camera, getting it in the house, guys, because the back wheel's locked up. So um, it's gonna take me a little while. A little while. But uh, definitely stay tuned because um, she should be up and running very soon. Yeah. Um, once I get it in the house, I'll do a walk around and I'll tell you exactly uh, what me and my wife were able to figure out. Because uh, we've already spent, I'd probably say, a good hour plus already running through this bike. Yeah. So we know exactly what she needs. Exactly. But uh, stay tuned, guys. Hey. Hey. What's up, guys? What's up? Finally got it in the house. Hey, tell me that this doesn't look crazy cool. This babe. Right? Ooh. Like, I was telling my wife that this... She she's she's making my life come true. <laughs> like for real, thank you, baby. Of course. Like, a lot of, a lot of women they wouldn't allow their husbands to keep their machines in the house. Yeah. And um, you know, this is the only reason why the channel is what it is, is because my wife is just like super awesome. <laughs> so I really appreciate it, babe. Of course. But, um, so check this out. Okay, guys. Me. Man, I got all cut up trying to get this bike in the house, not gonna lie, that was tough. <laughs> like I said, the back wheel's like locked yeah. up because the axle's bent. So uh, it's it's a pain to push around for sure. Yeah. But um, anyway, me and my wife we went through this entire motorcycle, and we determined that every like piece of uh, wiring is in perfect shape. The whole harness is intact, guys. Yes. Uh, which is crazy because this bike got hit. I would approximately think probably around 60, 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Looking at the amount of damage that that occurred to this bike. Um, so the only small negatives, obviously the headlight assembly got ripped out, um, but that's, that's a pretty simple fix. Um, we decided that we're going to keep this bike a street fighter. So that's super sick, yes. especially to match my ZX-10. So those two bikes next to each other, they're going to look really Ooh. sick. Um, the only negative that we kind of found out, sorry that I'm sweating, man. We're out here in the country, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's mighty hot out here. But um, the only thing that we determined that got somewhat damaged is these little um, plugs that go into the connector for the fuel pump. They actually came out when the bike um, got hit from the back. But that's just as simple as popping those back in. Um, obviously, the tilt sensor, that sucker is right here. Let's pull the seat back. The tilt sensor literally got like like ripped out as soon as the bike got hit. So I know that as soon as the bike got hit from the back, it shut down. Yeah. So that's the good news is the bike shut down because when the guy hit this bike from the back, he tried to drive away with the bike stuck under his vehicle <laughs> like a dumbass. I don't usually, I don't usually cuss on his channel, but, but after he did something like that, yeah. like, come on, what yeah. are the words to say? Okay. <laughs> Um, from him driving with the bike lodged under his vehicle, he was able to drive a little bit. Um, it burned a hole straight through the case. So thank God that this motorcycle shut down um, due to the tilt sensor, yes. you know? And that's why I love Japanese bikes and I love all bikes is that's why they have the tilt sensor thank there. You. It's there for a reason. I know some guys, they'll delete the tilt sensor if they stunt, you know, because if they take the bike to 12 o'clock, 
uh, some bikes have shut off on them. So I kind of understand that, you know, like then I would delete it, but I would never delete a tilt sensor uh, unless you're stunting to 12 o'clock on a right. motorcycle, guys. Exactly. You know, um, but anywho, we got the motorcycle in the house now. So, you know, we're going to do what we need to do to get it put back together. So um, definitely stay tuned because uh, I'll have her up and running very soon. Oh, yes. Peace, guys. Peace.